All right. We're live outside the San Siro. We've got an Inter fan. Sir, what's your name? Pietro. Ah, okay, you gave a real name. Okay, nice. So obviously you're an Inter fan. You just won the Derby 3-0 beating AC Milan. What is your reaction, good sir? No reaction. No reaction. Come Godo! 3 nothing, baby! Lukaku! Lautauro! Get off! Let me tell you guys something. The king is back. You know, Elvis used to use a mic like this. Right? But the real king is Lukaku. I'm going to give it back to you. Okay, thank you. All right. But, uh, yeah. Dominating performance. Inter. Everybody wants to say they're supposed to win the Scudetto. Supposed to win the Scudetto. They are. Well, guess what? We just proved it today that we will win the Scudetto. And we're four points up. You sure everything's okay? Usually you like to stay on the fence. You like to say, ah, you know, there's still a lot of teams. I'm a fan. So I'm not the one that you see in other uh, IFTV studio ah, videos okay. and stuff. But uh, I'm going to say this was a dominating performance, a performance that we needed to see, especially for Inter fans. I think it's been a long time that you saw such a dominating performance versus a Juventus, number one, what we did in Serie A, and then versus a Milan, who has been overachieving, yes, but have been playing some great football. And this week, they lost to Spezia, they tied to Red Star, and they just lost 3 nothing to Inter. Lukaku, uh, sorry, Lautaro was on the score sheet. He scored twice tonight. I've heard some weird guy on IFTV call him a bum many times. What's your reaction uh, to Lautaro scoring twice tonight? Definitely not a bum. I mean, whoever says that needs to, uh, you know, change his vocabulary. But uh, one thing I would say, I was actually talking with somebody in the in the bar before we, bef- my little ritual, ritual before going to uh, the game. I have this coffee at this great bar, some top coffee. Um, and we were talking I met this guy Chris we just happened to to talk about football and uh, he mentioned he's like I don't know if you know and I don't know if this is true maybe we gotta figure something out but under 23 players there's Haaland Mbappe and then Lautaro for goal scoring ratio that's a nice little stat there and I'm not saying that Lautaro is those top guys right now because yes they've proved it in uh, I have a friend actually Antonio he's a big Milan fan I'm gonna call him after but, you know, he, he's always said that Lautaro's bad. And even this, this other guy, Ryan, you know, whatever. Lautaro, Lautaro. But he hasn't done it in Champions League, yes. But he's in some good company. And I think he's going to be able to, to really lead this Inter team next year. The last uh, derby that we had, there was a lot of emotions on display, particularly from Lukaku and Ibra, where Ibra was talking lots of shit towards Lukaku. Tonight, Ibra's performance um, probably did not live up to it. We saw him subbed off early. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on Zlatan and, and everything that he's had to say and, and, and his performance so far? Listen, Zlatan is a proven champion. The guy usually shows up in these games. Um, he had some chances, yes, today, but he did not score the goal. He did not lead this Milan team to a, a commanding performance. And... Uh, you know, this game he didn't do so well, but I, I, listen, you can't take anything away from a guy who has won wherever he's gone, especially in domestic championships. And uh, It sounds like Peter Curto, politically correct Peter Curto. <laughs> uh, no, no, definitely not him. Uh, 39 years old. Uh, no, listen, I have to tap to my hat to a player like Ibrahimovic, but today he didn't show up. Uh, I'm going to say one word, and then you're going to give me your reaction to this. Lukaku. Amazing. Oh, I have to. I thought it was like one word. Uh, answer. Is he the king of Milan? Did Did he prove that he's the king of Milan? Oh yeah, there's a new king in Milano, and it's Lukaku. Uh, the guy is just a powerhouse. I never seen a player with, you know, his size and strength be so fast, and he can burn a player in a moment's notice. Um, you know, that that third goal was just a statement. I have to say where. You know, everyone was thinking, I was even thinking, like, pass the ball to Akimi, pass the ball. What are you doing? What are you doing? He just burnt Romagnoli and put the ball in a spot that no goalkeeper, and I give a lot of credit to Gigi Donnarumma, Gigi, but no goalkeeper could have saved. It was just curved right into the corner and game over. Speaking about goalkeepers, Handanovic was absolutely massive for you. Some would say he changed the match because his saves kept you into the game when you were 1-0. Handanovic is often criticized by the Inter fans. What do you have to say right now? Handanovic, you know, he's... Everyone talks about Ivanovic. He's 38. And obviously, goalkeeper is a little different. But what a save. Uh, one nothing. 
Milan scores 1-1. It's a whole nother game. Not saying that Inter can't pull, couldn't pull through, but it's a whole different game. And uh, masterful performance, turning back the clock. He did it once versus Juventus, and he did it again versus Milan. Um, and that's when champions really are shown when they come up on these big games. Last thing, one message to all the Milan fans out there. To all your friends that are Milan fans. To all my friends that are Milan fans, listen, it happens. You can't win it all. Maybe next year, you know? Maybe next year you guys can uh, go out for a Scudetto or, or something. Or just claim, oh, we're not really looking for the Scudetto. We're just trying to get the Champions League. Can we, can we get a little a little uh, cheer outside? We, we saw the fans that were outside the stadium. I don't think it was you. I know I know how you are. You're, you're good. Any any little chance for Inter? You want a chant? I want a chant. Chi no salta milanista, eh? Hey! Chi no salta milanista, eh? Hey! Thank Th you. Thank you, good sir. Thank Pietro, you. not Peter Curto. Yes, Pietro. We'll see you. We'll, we'll, guys, uh, fan cam over here outside the San Siro. We'll see if we're able to find an AC Milan fan right now.